three things that's high as shit right now. Gas, food, and tampons. I can only help you with one of them, okay? I'm Shawnee Hart. I am a sex educator, certified sex coach, co-owner of Hearts Desires Erotic Boutiques, and founder of The Noir Leaf, a sensual CBD company. So let's get into this toy of the week. So it's, again, it's not really a toy per se, but it's, I mean, it's a, it's an item that you put up in your coochie, so it's still, it's, it's an important, it's an important toy. It is the Fun Factory Menstrual Cups. They call them Fun Cups. Why they call them Fun Cups, I don't know. And I use, I really like this company. I don't know why they call them Fun Cups. Because, I mean, the, the, the period is probably is, is not really the funnest time of your life. But these cups are awesome. I started using these back in 2018, and I still use them every single cycle. Um, I've only gone through two sets. So, in 2018, 19... Count on my finger. So in four years, I have bought just two sets. Um, when I first started off, so let's just go into the colors a little bit. So you see, it's a pink one, and you can see when I put them on my cheeks, the blue one is a, a little bit larger. So they say on the website um, that the pink one is great for people to have, um, you know, smaller vaginal cavities, um, never had any children before, things like that. Um, have a lighter flow. And the blue one is for people, you know, they got them deep joints. <laughs> got the deep joints. So I started off using the pink one because I was like, ah, my flow is not really heavy. I'm, I'm not someone that when I was using tampons had to change them all the time and everything like that. Um, I changed them as often as needed because I didn't want to get the dreaded. Everyone on the box always talks about the toxic shock syndrome and I'm like I don't want to get toxic shock syndrome so I would change mine but I they, I'm not a heavy flow person so I started off with the pink one the pink one was working fine and then I left it out you know how dogs like smells my dog ate it well he she bit into it she didn't eat it but she bit into it and like she destroyed it even if she didn't destroy it I don't think I was going to use it again just on GP like that ain't that's that's nasty. I don't care. Sanitize the bullet, spray it down with alcohol. I I I, I don't know what I could have done that would have made me put this in my coochie after she had it in her mouth. Just just not to. They say a dog's mouth is pretty sanitary. Just not for me. So anyway, so then I had the handy dandy blue one. And I was like, okay, well, let me try this one. I like the blue one even better. So thanks, Riley, for eating the pink one. I like the blue one. So let's go over real quick why you should use cups instead of tampons. First of all, to me, these are cleaner. Like you put them in there, it holds all the blood in there. To me, it holds the smell better. Like I don't think, I never smell myself, but I could imagine that with it being up in this vacuum, I, and I'll describe how it makes a vacuum, how it being up there in this cup would be less smelly so that's that's one it's less smelly um you don't have to change them as often they recommend six hours but i'm i, I push everything to the limit i'm a 12 hour person i change it when i get up in the morning time um when i'm taking my shower i take it out dump it out rinse it out everything like that put it back in and then before i go to sleep same thing dump it out rinse it out and then sometimes this might be a little tmi if I have to do, if I have to do number two, if I poop, cause you know, cause some, cause your, 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 your pelvic floor muscles are, you know, all combined with the anus and the, and your vaginal canal. So sometimes if you're pushing and, you know, hunching down and everything, it could come out a little bit. So I can feel it if it's about to come out and I woo, catch it and everything like that. So that's the only times that I change it. But normally it's just morning time when I take a shower and then a night before I go to sleep. Um, so we got less smell, less time you have to change it. These don't dry your vagina out. The tampons are very drying and they suck, you know, cause there's good bacteria in there and bad bacteria. 
the tampons can suck some of that bad bacteria out. That's why some people, after they have their periods, they like to use a douche. Eh, not the best thing for you to do because you're going to suck out, wash away more of the good bacteria. But this, these cups are not going to alter your pH in any kind of way. Everything's going to stay exactly the same if you want to take it out. And if you ever, if you're someone that likes to have the sex on your period, you know that sometimes if you could take, if you take the tampon out, it could be very dry. It just dries everything out. The cups is not going to do that. Um, next, yo, tampons high as shit. Have, have you gone to the supermarket and looked at how much tampons are? Well, I guess you have if you're a tampon user. Like I, said, I haven't bought a box of tampons in 2018, but I went down the aisle the other day and looked at the prices and I was like, yeah, can't do it. Not me. Not going to do it. These, like I said, I've been through two. So one, one uh, order of these lasted me two years. So you can imagine how much money I saved just by using these cups. Um, last thing's better for the environment. You know, I'm, I'm trying to be a better person. Let me tell you, let me tell you all the ways that I'm being good for the earth and being a better person. So I recycle. I've been recycling for a long time. Um, and now I'm composting. <laughs> they gave me the little, the little green bins in my neighborhood. So I'm composting. I try, I try to do all the things I try to use. Um, I don't buy bottled waters anymore. I take one of those. The, those things that hold the water really, really cold. I fill that up every day. So I'm doing my part. So if you also would like to be a good person, you don't have to be. But if that's something that motivates you to do different things, not throwing these tampons away every five seconds and something else that's going to clog up the um, landfills, and you know, that's good. So those are the reasons why these are better than tampons from and from my perspective and you might find some other reasons if you have another reason drop it in the comment um so talked about the two cups oh it also comes with a storage pouch so you once you clean it sanitize it everything you can put them in the bag and for for next month so how did i figure out because now i'm at the point i don't I can just throw my sweatpants on. I don't need no underwear. I know I'm not going to have any leaks. I haven't had any leaks in forever. The first month, I pretty, I pretty much got it down. So what I do is the fold and shove. So I take it and I fold it like this. Make it in like a C or a circle. And I shove. I usually stick one leg up on the toilet. That's the same way that I inserted my tampons. That's how I insert this. I cop my leg up on the toilet and I shove. And then I let it poop. I let it pop open. And I'll pull it down just a little bit. And you can you can feel it. You can feel the resistance when you do that. So I pull it down. And if it doesn't feel right, I might push it up some and then pull it down some more. Because what it is, is these little circles on the top. And they help create a vacuum. So it's going to help it stay put. It's going to help all the blood stay in there. And one thing that I noticed that was really weird when I first started using these is that how little actually came out of my body. Everybody's different. But using tampons is like, oh, it's a bloodbath. But when I use these cups, and like I said, I usually only dump them twice a day. It really don't be that much in there. <laughs> it's really not a whole lot. Um... So what else do I need to go over? I, I should write these things down and have like a little script or something. So those are the two sizes of cups. I went over the reasons why you should buy these instead of tampons. If you have any questions about using these cups, used them before and couldn't get it right, maybe you want to ask me anything about it, um, hit me up. Leave me a comment. You know, we're here. And as always, stay sexy, my friends.